Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about why I do not like Ivan Moody from the bands Moto Grader, Ghost Machine, and Five Finger Death Punch. Um, I just got back from taking Laddie out. <laughs> um, so if you watch me, you know at the beginning of my slaying shades, I say, you know, I don't hate anybody, but, and at first it was Jamie Josta, and then I did a short video on him, and then I switched it to Ivan Moody. So I'm going to talk about why I don't like Ivan in this video. It'll be pretty short. Um, and then when my slaying shades start on Friday, you will be able to hear a new person that I don't like. <laughs> um... So I guess this is going to be a little different because I've actually never had a bad experience with him myself. Um, I have seen Moto Grader twice and I saw Five Finger Death Punch probably four times. Um, most of those times weren't on purpose, but they were at like festival type shows um, or opening, you know, for somebody. But they got like big quick. I didn't get it. Um, so... <laughs> Laddie looks so cute. Sorry. So, um, the first time I saw Moto Grader was, I believe, at an Ozfest because I don't think Mayhem Fest started yet. But my boyfriend at the time and I really liked them. Um, eh, mo I don't know why, really. But I guess back then it was just something kind of different. I don't know. So, um, we liked them. Um, I met Ivan there. He was like super nice. Uh, we ended up getting the CD. I got it for my boyfriend at the time for like his 21st birthday, I think it might have been. So keep in mind, I'm 37 and all of this stuff happened between being 21 and 27. <laughs> so I'm an old goat. Um, so we got the CD. We saw them somewhere else. Um, everything was fine. I mean, I started to get out of sort of that like new metal type kind of stuff which I wasn't like super into to begin with but I was becoming more into technical death metal I don't know how many times I have said this <laughs> said that on my channel because I'm always like that's the music I prefer but I like a bunch of other stuff like you know Depeche Mode stuff like that anyway so um I think I want to say, now I know that my boyfriend at that time ended up turning me on to Ghost Machine, and that I liked probably the most out of the three, because it's very mellow, and I liked Ivan's singing voice. I don't like his wannabe death metal vocals at all, and we saw Five Finger Death Punch at a festival, um... Nothing really happened there. That wasn't a big deal. But we saw them once. I don't know if it was actually here or if it was in Cleveland. And he was, like, pretty wasted. The show was, like, really bad. Uh, it was pretty awful. And then um, I know we saw them at least once at Mr. Small's. I know one time my boyfriend at the time was with me. The other time I went with my friend Chris. And when I met Ivan there, um, he was a little uh, drunk, <laughs> um, but there were a lot of girls around, you know, um, kind of like fangirls, you know, whatever. Um, and he had some kind of, you know, little remarks to say here and there where he thought that we couldn't hear them. Um, you know, call him one girl like a pig and stuff. It was just... He's just nasty, you know, and you could tell like he has this vibe about him that's very sexist is the only <laughs> word that comes to my mind. Um, so I started now Five Finger Death, Pun Death Punch then was really starting to get big. So I don't know if it was just like his ego was growing or what was going on, but he was definitely different and not in a good way. He was never rude to me. Um, I have actually no bad personal experiences except for how he was behaving around, you know, some other people. Um, so that began my dislike for Five Finger Death Punch, which is kind of hard because like it sucks when you like a band, not that I was like super into them, but when you meet somebody and you're just like really disappointed, I have many of those. So you have to watch my new slaying shake because you will hear a new name. <laughs> but anyway, so that sort of got me a little turned off. And so, you know, not a big deal, just didn't like them anymore. Um, I would still sometimes listen to Ghost Machine, though, um, 
I don't know, little like sad songs, especially when my boyfriend at that time and I broke up. <laughs> um, so I uh, didn't really pay much attention to them for a while. And I remember reading in 2014, I believe it was, that Ivan was arrested on a flight for being, um, for like domestic, like drunkenly assault towards a flight attendant. So that was like another thing because like there were stories of him being pretty aggressive towards women allegedly and um, just an all around not great person, especially when he was intoxicated. And um, so that was one thing. And then you would read things about how he was so, you know, wasted that he couldn't perform with the band. And it's like people, thousands of them, for some reason, love your band and are paying to see you. Now, I get the struggles with alcohol. I struggle with it myself. It's just that you would think that you would be a little more professional. Especially when a lot of the time when you go see a band, the vocalist is a pretty big part of the band. So performing without them, a little strange, and a waste of your money. So I, um, bless you boy. He's sneezing. <laughs> so I, um, I, I remember reading about that. I'm just like, what a loser, you know, and, um, you know, people, you know, also, I don't get his whole military thing. He has never been in the military and it's not like it's a bad thing, you know, but this whole like fatigues and like wearing like camo and like acting like you're in the military, acting like you even know what these people like go through because you jumped out of some kind of military airplane in a video or something or you flew in one. I don't get that. And I also don't like that about him. Um, but he has played like USO shows. And if that makes troops happy, cool. I just don't get his whole thing about it, you know. So um, another instance that happened that really made me dislike him was a domestic battery incident that happened with his girlfriend of 17 years. Now, this happened in Las Vegas. I believe it was 2015. Um, her name's Holly Smith. Uh, this is all public, by the way. Um, she called the police around 4.30 in the morning because Ivan was straddling her, intoxicated, acting deranged, allegedly, um, started uh, hitting her and shoving blankets in her mouth, saying, I'm going to effing kill you. Um, when the police got there, he was too out of it for them to get his side of the story, but they did see that she had like a busted lip that went blood crusted on it. She was like bruised up. She had scratches in the back of her throat and on the roof of her mouth from allegedly him pushing the blanket into her mouth. She had talked about some violence with him before too. So um, he was arrested on domestic battery um, and eventually the charges were dropped, which often happens in situations like this. But, um, he seems to have this pattern of behavior, you know, and it's kind of scary to the point to where his own sister took a restraining order out against him because allegedly he had been terrorizing her for years, accusing his own mother and even daughter of stealing money. Um, she admitted that this is way worse when he is intoxicated, but, um, it's it's like whenever I get drunk, I just don't like beat up guys or girls or whatever, you know, I'm not like just all of a sudden violent. So I think that there are underlying issues that just like come out when he's intoxicated. Um, and to think about like your own family, not even I mean, your own family wants a restraining order against you, you know, and he also um there were like, when reports came out about the incident with his girlfriend, they had been together off and on for 17 years. Some of the reports had said that Holly Smith was his wife. And some reports said that he was like doing some sort of jujitsu jiu moves. And a band member or, or the or their manager or something had posted like, I don't know what's funnier that they're saying that, you know, she's his wife or that he knows jujitsu. Like nothing about that that is funny. So it's like, those are the kind of people he's around. Um, I don't think anything about domestic violence is funny at all. That's just my opinion. Um, it's just what a weird thing to say, not like, oh, we know that this is, is not true, or we've never seen him be aggressive or violent or something. It's just like, oh, haha, ha, the reports are getting some things wrong. 
which I mean, you figure if you're with somebody for 17 years, maybe they just felt like, you know, that's his wife. Um, so anyways, the charges against the girlfriend ended up being dropped, but, um, there's just a lot of like stories about him being rude to women. Um, you know, and most of his arrests, uh, were things that he allegedly did to women. Um, and I mean, this is a person that has a daughter, you know, um, there was an instance where he was at a show super drunk and said that his mom was dying, although she was very much alive and well, um, there's just like a lot of stuff, you know, and I don't, I don't like that cocky attitude. I don't like more than anything, the, the pattern of behavior towards women, allegedly. Um, and I don't think he's a very good vocalist and I think Five Finger Death Punch sucks. I'm sorry. I don't dig them. I don't get it. <laughs> um, I, they're kind of one of those bands where like, if you like one song, you like all of them. It's just, it's just repetitive. It's an interesting there's nothing innovative about it nothing exciting it's just garbage to me and the fact that he seems like he is such um a garbage person just makes it that much worse and those are my reasons why I dislike Ivan Moody um like I said, we didn't, I didn't have any personal, you know, experience with him that was horrible, but when you're reading all of these things and you see him performing drunk, it's like, like I said, I get, you know, issues with alcohol, but when people are spending their hard earned money for some reason to see your band play and his whole obsession with the military, I'm not saying that it's bad to like support troops or anything. Of course, I just don't get why he has this sort of persona like he's in the military you know what I mean it's just very odd like if you didn't know him you would probably think that based on some of their music videos and and music and stuff which is just totally strange so anyway that's why I don't like them um and you guys will have to find out who the next person on my I do not like list is because they will be at the beginning of my new Slain Shade, which is likely going to be a Shane Dawson Slain Shade remix. I am going to have a Trisha Paytas one. I'm going to do Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn Reed is probably going to have to be split into two separate videos because there's so much. And I didn't follow her. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm sort of catching up on. Same with Trisha Paytas. Like I I didn't really know who she was until I saw her in a video. Somebody showed her eating a cheeseburger while she was wearing a vegan shirt. That was almost around the time or around the time that the whole thing happened where she said she was a chicken nugget. Like I really didn't know too much about her beforehand. So there was a lot of catching up to do with both of those people to sort of um, be able to do a cohesive video and like understand who I'm like talking about here. I also have a slain shade on a beauty brand and um, some other fun stuff. My husband said that he would cut my hair. So I'm hoping we can do that on video. That might be like super fun. Um, but who knows? He's been saying he's going to do my eyebrows, like wax my eyebrows for like three or four years now and he never has. But I'm going to try to get on his ass so that he will do it. But this is my video on Ivan. If you've had any experiences with him yourself, let me know down below. And music is super subjective, I know. Um, if you like his music, that's fine. You know, you're not like a jerk or something. I just don't particularly care for them. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below and uh, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to and I will see you in the next video. Love and hugs. Bye.